Hello, uh, I'm just doing this plate here. Um, just going to add some features to this plate. Uh, this is just somebody had asked me how I would do this, and I guess the easiest way to explain it is to just do a video because it'll only take two minutes. So here I am doing the video. Uh, so it's basically a, a plate with square features in it, and I guess uh, I wouldn't generally. I would create a material like an. I would create a plate with the model roll for this. Or with the name, sorry, for this sheet. Rather than adding all the features on, I would just use a hatch. Uh, I would just use a hatch for this on the drawings. But if you wanted it ex exactly to look like you want it, these aren't the exact measurements now, but uh, I'll just put in something. I, I believe the holes are a slightly smaller on the one he has. And um, we'll copy these. I should have deleted these first, but just this is just a regular copy command, and then A for array, and then the number of items, I'll do 12, and then I'll go through 4 inches, and you can see I have some extra ones here, which we can get rid of, now I've broke the plane of the plate here, so just for aesthetic purposes, I'll extend the plate two inches either side this is a four by eight sheet so this would not be advisable uh, well, i guess you could always cut it off a five by ten so now what we want to do is i want to cut those features from the plate so what i'll do is just go to the just make sure that you create the square and then make it into a polyline and then use this, which is the polygon contour. Select the plate, and then, sorry, let me go on top here. Polygon contour, right click, polylines, and select all your polylines. And there's all your features. So go to your palette, turn off your features, off your features and then there's your plate and shade it that's your plate so if you want to do it that way uh, just make sure you keep your features turned off or it'll use up a lot of your resources uh, i hope that's helpful all right bye.